Catalia. So today's video is definitely a requested one. In it, I'm going to be giving you a sugar glider cage tour, showing you my entire cage from the bottom up. Starting with my trio of gliders in this cage, and up top I have my newest breeding pair from the pet glider. So I'm obviously going to show you my sugar gliders, and then I'm going to show you all the toys in their cages, their pouches, wheels, all of it. So here we go, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Keep watching and you'll find two very special coupon codes for the pet glider. So I know a lot of you started watching my channel because of my sugar glider videos, and if you have, then you probably met my first three gliders, which is Maribel, Lavana, and Mister, and they were breeding for quite a while, but they're just pets now, although Lavana and Maribel do have their final two babies in their pouch, because although sugar glider gestation is very short, babies are very small and will stay in the pouch for quite a long time, so they can just kind of show up and you're not really sure that they're there until it's very obvious that they are. But here are my three little babies in here. This is my boy, Mister. He's neutered, but... He's very curious, though. They love toys, and they love playing, and they love each other. Mm -hmm. Good boy, Mister. And next we have Lavana. She's my leucistic sugar glider, and she has a baby in the pouch right now, but I'll have to get an up-close shot to show you. She's peeing on me. So, um, sugar gliders pee whenever you get them out. That's just one way that you can sort of potty train them is understanding that when you get them out, they're gonna pee on you. And here's Maribel. Maribel is a black beauty sugar glider, meaning she is a, considered a classic, but just a very dark version of the classic color. Maribel. And Maribel is precious. She's definitely got attitude out of the three, but. So their cage is a double critter nation, which is two single critter nations stacked on top of the other. And then the pair is in a single critter nation, which I plan on eventually adding them to a double. Um, a single is definitely big enough for two or three even, but I just like having the best for my gliders. Something else I forgot to mention that is very important if you're trying to select your first glider cage is that you want to make sure that your bar spacing, meaning the bars that make up the cage, is at the most a half inch apart like this here. Because if it's any bigger than this, then most gliders will be able to squeeze their little heads through and escape through the cage. You want to make sure that it's no bigger than a half inch wide. Whenever you're starting your cage for gliders, you want to make sure you get a very large cage, uh, preferably one that's more than three feet by three feet by three feet. So as you can see, it's stock full of toys, pouches, all kinds of stuff, and I'll show you everything in detail. So I guess I'll go from the bottom up. I always have at least three waterers on the cage at any given time, and as you can see, they need to be filled. Simply because you never know if one of them will malfunction, um, and you want your gliders to be able to get water if one of their waterers stops working. So I like using these silos. They're meant for birds, but they work very well for gliders. And then I also just have a normal water bottle on here. Some people use dishes, um, and I think it is safe if you are giving them one that is shallow enough, so if they fell into it, they could get out. So I had taken this out to clean it, but I just added some fresh stuff to it. So as well as that kibble, I also like to give them monkey biscuits as a treat from the pet glider and this sugar glider brunch, which are two great crunchy foods that they can munch on throughout the day if they get hungry while they wait for their nighttime meal. They're pretty big, but they are crunchy and they like eating them. Here, Maribel. Here. Okay, so before I go further, I want to give a basic rundown of the types of toys that you can get for your sugar gliders. So there's going to be your cork toys that are made of, well, mostly cork. Um, usually they'll have plastic links and stuff attached to them. Those are really cool, but they are technically a type of wood, so they will absorb moisture. Any wooden toys will absorb pee and moisture and might be harder to clean, but some of them can be pretty handy and fun for your gliders. Um, wheels are another big toy, and there are lots of different kinds. I personally use the 
their wheels, which you can find on the pet glider. And then there are plastic toys, and plastic toys come in a variety of different types. Um, there are foraging toys, which are basically toys that allow you to place food items inside of them, so the gliders have to pick them apart to find the food every night. It's a really great enrichment for them. There's also reset toys, which are toys that you reset back to their original position every night, and your gliders have the awesome time of ripping them apart or rearranging them, and gliders are very smart, so they definitely love those types of toys. Um, then you also have your fleece toys, and fleece toys can be made in a variety of types, but I'll show you the ones I have in the cage here. And those also include some type of pouches and hammocks and things that they can play and hide in. And then you also have like your fleece vines that hang through the cage. I've got one of them in this one, so I'll show you guys those as well. Then you can also find like actual live branches, like eucalyptus. Those are some really good enrichment items. There are some food toys as well, so like different types of dried flowers, branches. Um, they love eating them and tearing them apart and chewing on them, and I'll tell you where to get those as well. So with that considered, it's probably the best idea for your gliders to get many different types of toys from each of those categories. So continuing on our journey throughout the cage, it's typically a good idea to have multiple pouches throughout the cage, but since my gliders are breeding, I do keep it very limited because if they have a baby that they're carrying on their backs, sometimes they'll leave them in the pouch while they go throughout the cage, and you don't want them crawling into another pouch where the baby isn't and the baby getting cold and left alone. So that's why when you're breeding gliders, you often just have one pouch in the cage that they go in and out of so they don't leave their baby behind on accident. But with that in mind, this amazing cork toy has a pouch inside of it that they like to get in. But since they don't have any babies out of pouch right now, I'm leaving the pouch in there. I absolutely love this cork toy. Um, it has these little fake flowers on it that they like to play with. And it has foraging toys like these. You just put food and treats inside of these and every night they can kind of go through and find them. Oh yeah, these are scratches from my gliders. As you can tell, they need some nail trims. And yeah, this cork log just has a lot of plastic links and fun things on it for them to play with and it's got a hole so they can go inside of there. Then it has this pouch with three different links on it. This one's not hooked up, but so it can safely secure here and they can climb inside of it and use it as a little hide. Then I just have a bunch of like random plastic toys throughout the cage, a bunch of links and hoops. Hey mister, what you doing? So here is the wheel that they have. I had two, but I've split them up among different cages, so they only have one right now, but they share it pretty well because there's only three gliders in the cage. It glides so smoothly, and gliders really need very large wheels. This wheel is, I think it's at least a foot in diameter. Just listen, you can't even hear it. So quiet. So if your gliders are in your room or something like that, I I definitely recommend one of these very cool raptor wheels that are on the Pet Gliders website. That's where I got mine. They have them in plastic and they have them in stainless steel. Both of them are good. Hi, buddy. Oh, you're so cute, buddy. Look at those teethers. He's such a handsome guy. Oh, you're so cute. Okay, so next. You'll see I have this lovely little fleece pouch in here. Any materials for your gliders, you're going to want to make sure that they're made of fleece. Um, a high quality fleece preferably because other materials such as cotton or wool or anything like that can snag your gliders nails and wrap around their feet or something like that which is definitely not good. Um, Gliders have been known to completely chew off their limbs to become freed from whatever's holding them down, such as a string on a pouch. So something to keep in mind if you're getting gliders for the first time is that you definitely want to get fleece. If you're getting any type of fabric or soft material, you want to make sure it's fleece. On that note, I have an amazing vine hanging in the cage that is made of fleece. The gliders like to jump and play on it and climb on it. It's lots of fun for them. I should have more stringing throughout the cage, but personally for me, I prefer using plastic toys because I just don't have the time to wash the fleece as much as it needs to be washed so it doesn't stink. For me, I just have a limited amount, which is fine, but some people like to just completely deck out their cages with fleece, which is awesome. Some more links here. Over here I have this cool little box thing that's made out of wire but it's coated with this plastic material so it doesn't rust and inside of that I just have a bunch of random little toys like uh this is just too cute like a little compass 
And there's some cork pieces in there as well. They like to play with those. Some gliders will carry hoops on their tails. They call those types of gliders tail carriers. And so you always want to have a lot of hoops and plastic links in the cage. So if you have a tail carrier, your glider will be able to carry things. Over here we have this really cool coconut toy. I freaking love this toy, it's so cute. You'll see a lot of these, but with rope. You definitely don't want the ones that have rope because rope is one of those things that will definitely get caught on a sugar glider's nails and it could wrap around their little toes or even around their neck. So you have to be careful and try not to use anything with rope. But these special coconut toys are just made with the coconut itself and then with plastic links and little wood pieces. And has this cute little ramp that they can climb on. And that's another one I got at the pet glider. Over there we've got just a little mirror toy. Up in the front here we have this really cool basket foraging toy. Foraging toys are ones where you can place food items inside of them that they can find throughout the night. So these have these little cups hanging from them. So I just place some treats inside of them and when nighttime comes around and the gliders start waking up, they climb throughout the cage and they find the food in these little cups. It's really fun for them. Let's them feel like they're wild sugar gliders getting to forage for their own food. And then sometimes I have these little treasure chests and I put the treat inside of there. Super cute. I love watching them try to get into these. So inside of this basket here, I have one of these because it fell off. They're just connected with links, so I just have to put it back on. That was my bad. It happened when I was washing it. Um, I have some cork pieces and then some hoops that they can play with. Little plastic jumping frogs, super fun. Ugh, and one of these things, a classic. And yes, these are safe for gliders. You just wanna make sure that if they shred it up, you throw the pieces away. Here in the center, we have this really cool foraging toy. It's these giant plastic moss balls and it has a little foraging cup inside. So I put treats inside of there and they like pull it up towards them so they can grab the treat out. It's super cute to watch. Here's another little one over here. And this one's fun because they have to reach their hand in there to get to the treats. And it's got this little duck. So cute. I wish it squeaked. Quack. I like to use these plastic plants. They really like to play with them. And I just hooked one through some of these hoops and then have this little ball thing here with some fleece attached to it. And they really like to play with that. And sometimes I stick treats in there too. Then on the door here, I used one of my turkey feathers after I sanitized it. They love feathers. I don't know if any of you have tried feathers with your gliders, but they go crazy trying to chase them. So for this cage, that's pretty much most of the toys that I have in here. Um, but like I said, some people have even more than this, but since my gliders do have babies in the pouch, I like to keep things a bit more simple. Oh yeah, and it's time to replace their eucalyptus branches, so I'll throw some of those in there. I usually just set them right on top there like that. Throughout the night, they'll come play with it and shred it and just have a blast with it. So pretty much all of my toys, the wheels, pouches, everything I've gotten from the pet glider. They just have really nice high quality toys and pouches and wheels and pretty much everything. That's where I got most of my pouches and toys. So you guys know that I like to help you guys out with coupon codes. If you have gliders or you're thinking about getting gliders, you've probably realized how expensive it can be getting into it for the first time. So I partnered with the pet glider for this video to give you guys a few coupon codes. And if you make a minimum of a $50 purchase in their online store, you get to choose between two coupons that I have. One coupon that I have gives you $5 off your product purchase, and that one is Catalia Dollar Sign 5. <laughs> The other coupon code that you can use gives you a free nutritional sample pack. I know a lot of you guys feed the Pet Glider Diet. It's a recommended staple diet, so if you guys are looking for your first diet to try out, you can use this coupon code to get a free nutritional starter pack, and that coupon code is Catalia TPG Diet. Also, they did send me a nutritional pack so I could show you guys what it includes. If you make a $50 or more purchase in the store and you add this coupon code, it'll give you that nutritional pack, which includes these three goodies here, which is your TPG multivitamin mineral with calcium, which you can use in the Pet Glider diet. It gives you the Pet Glider Sugar Glider Brunch, which is a really good kibble to use in the cage and a good snack for them. And then it gives you the Monkey Biscuits that you can also use as a good treat for them. So if you're going to use the Pet Glider Staple Diet, you need this stuff. This is the vitamin packet that you use in the diet. And if you guys want to try it out or you're looking for a good coupon code for it, then you can use that coupon code, Catalia TPG Diet. 
Or if you're just needing supplies and toys, then you can use the other one, Catalia dollar sign five. Oh yeah, now onto the next cage. So for this one, I'm going to have to get a step stool. Here we are. This is Tilcott and Rayon, my newest pair of gliders from the pet glider. Rayon is this boy here with the hoop around him. He's a tail carrier, so he likes to carry links and hoops into his cage every night. And Tilcott is this beautiful little girl. And yes, they're both named after fabrics. They're very sweet little babies, but they're still always a little grumpy about being woken up, especially because Tilcott's a first time mom. Here soon, she's going to have a baby, her very first one, and it could be any number of colors because the two of them have some really cool genetics and they can create a wide array of colors. I'll definitely be posting once her baby comes out, but I absolutely love this pair and I'm so glad I got these shuggies. So since they're breeding and this is their first time being parents, I only have the one pouch in this cage. And again, that's just to make sure that she's a good mom and he's a good dad and they don't leave their baby in the wrong pouch, which happens sometimes. So they have another wheel, but this one is on a stand. The other one was on a mount, meaning it was mounted inside of the cage with hooks and then I secured it with zip ties. But this one just stands flat on the cage ground works just as well as the cage mount. This is a cute little toy I also got from the pet glider. It's this cute little fox thing. It needs to be cleaned a little bit, but some cute links and toys. They slide through this ball. Every night, Rayon always takes these and he stuffs them all into the pouch. So every morning when I wake up, and check on them it's like stuffed into their pouch and I have to pull them back out and reset it every night so this would also be considered a reset toy this one is a really cute toy oh my gosh the giant plastic cup it's a reset and foraging toy so it has these cups to put treats inside of it has these links and toys for them to play with and inside you can put either more treats or you can put little tiny toys so we've got more cork pieces and all kinds of cute stuff. Oh my gosh, and there's a little train whistle thingy. I kept one for myself. <coughs> I'm keeping this. Then here we have another little foraging toy, and I put more toys inside of this one. It's just like a cereal bowl. It's super cute. <laughs> Look at these little treasure chests. I like to put treats inside of these and let them open them. I think this was meant for like a little tooth or something. Then back here I have another foraging toy. This one's super cute. It's got a rubber ducky on it that's also a unicorn. And yeah you just put a treat inside of that cup there and they get to find it every night. Super fun. Um, a good idea if you don't have the money to buy new toys is to kind of switch them around in the cage every night and this makes it like a whole new world for the shiggies because their toys are in different places so they get to find everything all over again a little mirror so yeah and i also offer them the kibble as well but i have their dishes in the kitchen because i was about to feed them and replace all their food okay so to wrap things up, so you want to make sure you get a very large cage, uh, preferably one that's more than three feet by three feet by three feet. Something tall and wide that they can jump and glide around in. You want to make sure that the bar spacing is no more than a half inch wide, otherwise they could escape through the bars. As far as toys go, you have a ton of options, but I personally like to stick with the plastic toys because I know that they'll be safe and easy to clean. There are wheels, most of which aren't glider safe, but this raptor wheel is a great option. And this one is mounted onto the cage, as you can see here. There are cork toys and other miscellaneous toys, such as branches and vines. You want to make sure you offer multiple water sources. And you want to have many different patches throughout the cage, so if your gliders are getting annoyed with each other, then they have the option of escaping from each other for a while and sleeping in their own quarters. Another really cute patch toy that I forgot to show because it wasn't in the cage at the time is this adorable little crocheted fleece pouch with eyes and a mouth. It's so cute. This is another one I got from the pet glider. So that's just one more example of a toy pouch you can get. If you need help with caring for your gliders or choosing a diet or something like that, I do have a video all about sugar glider care and I'll be updating it soon. If you want to watch that, I go over basically every main topic regarding glider care, such as food, housing, bonding, all of that. 
I'll link that on the screen now and in the description. I also have a video answering the question of if you should have two or more sugar gliders. The answer is yes, by the way. <laughs> I have some videos where I toured the Pet Gliders home base and I picked out my own pair of sugar gliders which is Tilcott and Rayon, the gliders that you met earlier. Eventually I'll be doing a video all about glider diet which is obviously very controversial as many people in the glider community are very set in their ways and feel like their way is the only way. Which here on my channel we like to validate the idea that there are many ways to care for these animals and there's not just one way to do things. In that video I'll probably be testing different diets and explaining why I feel Feed what I feed but I do know that a lot of you feed the pet glider diet so that's why I got you guys that coupon code so if you would like to try out their nutritional pack and test the diet yourself then you can do exactly that and remember that pack includes this these and these so if you have any questions about setting up your sugar glider cage or if you want suggestions on what toys or items you should get, feel free to ask me in the comments. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please leave a like on it. It helps me out a lot. If you have any sugar glider questions, please ask them in the comments. And I also have a whole sugar glider playlist covering many different topics regarding glider care. Please go to my Instagram, which is Catalia, and my Facebook page, which is Catalia YouTube, and also like the pet glider on Facebook and Instagram. They have some amazing products and I'm really happy that I was able to work with them in this video to offer you guys these two very special coupon codes. If you saw any toys that you liked in this video, the pet glider is my favorite place to buy toys from. They have so many awesome handmade sugar glider toys, pouches, wheels, all of that. They're constantly adding new products and new fun things to try out for your gliders and other pets as well. So check their website out at thepetglider.com. So I think the only way to finish out this video is by filming the sugar gliders some more, watching them being cute, etc. So let's do that. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Hi, Lavana. You want one too, baby? There you go. You're still so caught. Hi! Here's Miss Tilcott. She's very loud, all bark and no bite. She's a very sweet girl. I love you, you little creature. Here you go, baby. I know. I'm making you mad. Aya! That was my finger.